Hello, I am Test Drive, and welcome to episode 13 of Ford Racing 3. In this episode, we're doing the Size Matters, Size Matters competition, which is yet another off-road competition. Uh, there's not a lot of, like, variety. We've gotten a lot of off-road and a lot of performance. The one below SVT is uh, Classics. All these cars. Uh, but yeah, we're going to be doing this Size because, matters. yeah... So we have how many races? Six races. And we didn't really unlock anything crazy or new, so I guess I'll just do it in the EX concept because the EX concept is cool. And we'll do it in blue. Car selected. Difficulty hard. I'm sure it will be because it's a hard or it's a high level race in off road stuff. So I'm sure this will be difficult. Three, two, one, go. And it's also boost on this first one, which will be fun. Because this track does get a little difficult. I think the EX concept has just really good handling, though, so this might help out. By the way, I don't think there's music playing. If there is, it's quiet. I was kind of noticing. Oh, now there's music playing. Never mind. This is. Uh, I don't know. This is not Colonial Grounds. I don't think. I think Colonial Grounds is a regular track. I think a non-off-road track. I'm pretty sure. Maybe. I don't know. Oh jeez. Oh my God. That man has been killed. Just a little bit of this. A little bit of this. A little bit of... Oh, shit. This thing has really good handling, by the way. I very much appreciate the good handling on this compared to other cars I've driven in off-road. Oh, my God. All right, you guys bail that out. I'm just going to... Please. Excuse moi Oh shit. We're good. Boost recharged. I feel like this sounds different than it did in Ford Racing 2. Pretty sure it does. It does not snow. The boost, but yeah. There's some. Like I said, there's some nice things in here. <laughs> yeah. Gotta love it. I love when I get distracted and then some something stupid happens. It happens a lot. So I'm really glad I picked this because it's good handling. Also, I'm noticing with the uh, with the rear suspension, I don't think the uh, I don't think the I don't think those are springs. Those are uh, more so. Shocks, I guess, in the back there. I don't think they're supposed to tilt like that, by the way. I, I really, I think they're supposed to like compress and like tilt, like and be, you know, attached at the bottom and the top. But these are just like completely. Oh my God, where did you come from? Oh my God, please, please the X concept. Oh yeah, we got one more lap. That's supposed to be really sad. Dark, like outside dark. In the game dark. Cause yeah, I think it's probably pretty pretty dark outside because it's 7:30. Oh yeah, the tunnel is super dark in this game, by the way. Yeah. I love running up on this thing and just nearly flipping over, even though you can't flip over in this game. Oh my god. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Thank you. This is going to be questionable best. Yep. This is going great. Terraria? It does kind of, I mean, with the low resolution and the, uh, the low resolution texture on that, I could see that. 
To be fair, Reaper, I'm doing a lot better than I would have been in another car. I was struggling on this track earlier with the, that little Escort. This car is actually pretty decent. Oh my god, the F-350 is going so fast. Hey, bastard. That's not how this is going to work. Oh, maybe it is. God damn it. Eat my ass, F-350. Passing me at the last fucking second. It's all F-Series. The AI are really good at keeping cars going straight in a line, too, and I don't know how. Ah, uh, sure, I'll watch the replay for this. Uh, because this was a boost race, and the F-350 used boost at the last second. And I did, too, but I also uh, ran into a wall because I hit a bump. The AI know the path to, like, hit the bumps to where they don't spin out, apparently. I think that's basically the gist of how this works. Oh my god. Two wheels. Yeah, this game is kind of whack. Like I said, I have a, I have a few things that uh, contribute to this game being kind of whack. Number one, the lack of lighting from headlights. Number two, the FOV issues. Oh, I should probably turn this back on. Uh, number three, Stay the the, line to earn boost. the fact that you, three, you have to use two, boost to win, one, but go. boost makes you just die instantly, on, especially in these off-road races. And four is uh, the AI, or the, uh, the hard AI is not really the big issue. It's the the bumps of the tracks, really, and the, 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 the inclusion of boost. Oh my god, where am I going? This is really nice. And... Uh, what, was the, what was it? The fucking... The classes, the car classes being... Uh, whack. Alright, 9000. Sorry to hear that, Twitch is just whack. I blame Twitch. What was the phrase I used for it? What the hell? This is not going well. I don't know. I was trying to say something, but I don't remember what it was. Please, car. Please. Oh god, that's... Hello, F-150. I can't wait to get passed by the F-150 in like, 0.3 seconds. No, maybe not. But like, there's definitely like, overpowered cars in classes, by the way. That's the big thing that I'm trying to get at here. The main idea. Bouncy castle. <laughs> I do have quality options? Oh. I don't know. Also, look, I got passed by the F-150, as I predicted. I don't know, it's probably on mobile or something. I know mobile Twitch. I, I, I've never gotten Twitch and mobile to work correctly in my life. No matter if I'm on Wi-Fi or not. It just doesn't work for me. Ever. Hello. Oh. Okay. Please, I just don't want to get in... Uh, last? Second to last, even? Hello, there, sir. I still have 315 first, by the way, and I'm pretty sure it's the one that beat me in the last race. I'm slowly working my way back up into a better position.
the yeah, the AI can use boost basic consequence free and it's kind of annoying. And I'm sitting here like if I fucking breathe on the boost button, I'm going into a wall after flying 500 feet. Alright. This is going slightly better than it was a second ago. Guess I'll just have to be careful, I guess. Because flying and hitting walls and spinning out is not good. Excuse me, sir. Do you mind? Oh! That works. Oh, somebody died back there, I think. I think I saw a sideways vehicle. <clears throat> Fuck you, F-350. You're not gonna pass me for the last second this time. You win! Ah, that was the other one, okay. Cool, I'll take that. Alright, next round. Hello gamers. Goodbye gamers. Ah shit. This is an elimination race? I didn't even pay attention. The world may never know. Until this lap is over. And then people will know. The world will know even. Oh god, didn't want to be a part of that. I like how after you get a certain distance away, the, the car behind, or the cars behind you has headlights. I think I just lost like eight brain cells there. Their headlights turn on whenever you get far enough away from other cars. That's basically what I'm trying to say. I want to take the shortcut. This game just definitely seems a lot less polished than Ford Racing 2. Which Ford Racing 2 is, uh... I just had a bad time trying to say words. Reaper, that's basically it. As per usual, honestly. Because English is hard, it turns out. Oh, jeez. Hey, it is a elimination race. Oh god. Oh shit. I'm not gonna take the shortcut this time. Cause that ain't no shortcut. That's how you get screwed over by slowing down too much. I'm actually gonna grab more water before the final episode of the competition.
Water is good. You're damn right about that. Oh god, please. Hell yeah, staying hydrated. That's how you exist. For slightly longer. Smile. Oh God. I mean, you can have water with carbonation. There might be other stuff within that carbonated water that may not be good for you, but hey, at least the water part isn't bad for you. concept. We're so close to the end. Don't be doing all kinds of funky shit now, my friend. Hell yeah, there we go. Finish. You win. I did it. 26 pointos. Damn, did really good on the time there. All right, next round. So three out of six, yeah. The shit does get a little tedious too. Not gonna lie, doing the, that's the thing about Ford Racing 2 as well. Uh, another thing that I like more with Ford Racing 2 is the fact that you do a race, you don't like a car. You do a race, you don't like a car, so on and so forth. It doesn't get that tedious in Ford Racing 2. In this game, it gets pretty tedious, I'm not gonna lie. Ford Racing 1? Yeah. Yeah, it definitely is not nearly as tedious as Ford Racing 1, for sure. I'll give it that. But it's still pretty damn tedious. But like, the problem is, is that it's only a certain selection of tracks. Like, I do like the track design stuff in this game, but there's there's only so many tracks you can race on. So like, I don't know. I am not taking that shortcut this time. <laughs> Waste of time. Yeah. I mean, so far I've like, it's given me like a hundred and something views on YouTube, so I'll take it. Ah, oh, shit. It'll give me, like, maybe a hundred more or something before it's over. Before it's all uploaded. It's worth. Smile. Do it for the YouTube views. Excuse me, sir. That sounds like fun, Lofton. Sounds like an average, uh, average Saturday night in Hawaii, you know? Excuse me, sir, why are you so fast? Why in the fuck is the F-350 Dually so fucking fast? Literally the fastest car in off-road, I'm pretty sure. It's consistently in second place. ear hurts. I did literally nothing except for lift my headphone off my ear for half a second and put it back on. And it didn't help, surprisingly. Hello. Oh, you bitch. You're trying to fucking bamboozle me? No, I do the bamboozling here. Bastard. But yeah, I don't know.
I think I see why why uh, Ford Racing 2 is generally the more liked Ford Racing game, though, for sure. To be fair, I mean, I don't know. Because, like, you have to do all these to unlock all the cars, of course, because there's certain cars that are locked behind the competition races and doing them. But, I don't know. Shit's kind of wacky. Okay, that works, I guess. Oh, I was one foot off, damn it. Oh well. If you think about it, it's really like why Need for Speed games, like specifically Black Box, like most wanted carbon stuff like that uh, aren't as or aren't like tedious feeling is because you can actually do stuff to the cars between the races you can do different races you pick which way you go you can go back to the garage and this you just stuck with one car on the same tracks you raced against in the last you know event or whatever plus like I said it's like the balancing of uh, certain race type or like certain car classes is not good in this game to what you use in the, the competition mode at least. There's no way I can lose, I don't think. Because that was 4 out of 6. Would I have 36, 19? I could lose. If I got in the last in the last two races, I could lose. I doubt that's going to happen. This track, I forget the name of already. Later, nerds. Oh shit, we're good. Hello, gamers. Hello, big purple gamer. Ow. Oh, please. I really hope I don't get in last in any of these races. I don't think I'll get in last. Excuse me. Excuse me. At least not two races in a row. Maybe one race I might get fucked upon, but I doubt it. If I actually think about what I'm doing and actually try and race well, I'm fine. Can't even get in last place on this. Haha! -ha! Fuckers, I win! Take that! I actually need two more cars to be eliminated, and then I can't lose. I'll allow that yawn. It's almost 8 p.m. That one, that one was okay. I did wake up early this morning, so... You live for now. Now I can't lose this. There we go. 
Actually, I think if I would have gotten third, I would have been fine still. Third and last, I don't know. I don't like doing math. Math is hard. Yeah, Reaper, like I was saying earlier, I need to keep it at least until I go to the doctor's office next week on Wednesday. As long as I keep it until then, I'll be okay. And I wouldn't mind keeping it in general because, like, bruh. Sleep until, like, 7 p.m.? Not for me. I'm not gonna lie. Like, it's not the worst thing because I don't really have, you know, I'm not gonna be late for much of anything. But I much prefer streaming during the day. And... Yeah. I would much prefer just to be awake during, like, the afternoon hours. I mean, even if I slept until, like, 11 a.m., I wouldn't be upset. You win! Honestly. Now I can't Try lose. Ow. Oh, wow, I haven't done that track in reverse yet. Huh. So, I wouldn't have lost anyways, probably. Anyways, uh, cool. <sighs> fuck. Oh fuck. The l I'm really glad it's this race that I don't have to worry about winning on. Because fuck the logging company Three, two, with boost. One, it's annoying as hell. Oh god. The F-350s are ridiculous. Like I said, I don't know why they're actually as fast as they are. Fucking diesel dually trucks are like one of the fastest vehicles in this class. Over rally cars and shit. Literal rally cars. Alright, this is cool. Hi there. Thank you. I literally don't care what place I get in. Go ahead and use this here. This is gonna end poorly. I can't see. This is a not a good time for me not be able to see. Monitor. Boost recharged. Hello, Sport Track Gamer. Oh, I was not this one yet. Stop Yeah, I know, right? The F-350 is faster than the RS-200. Go figure, right? Oh my god. I didn't even do anything. Oh my god. That man just went. The fuck? That sport track went to fucking town. Also, this track going this direction is a lot more wack than the other direction. I don't even know if this is reverse or not. Cause like, going off the track and like, not hitting all the bumps is easier going the other direction. Oh my god, what's going on up here? Some shenanigans, that's what's going on. Okay, I don't actually get in last, so if one of you could just fuck off so I could pass you, that'd be great. Boost back, boss. Oh god. Later, idiots. Using the middle of the road when you should be using the side. Fuck me. Hello. I love the idea of just going, like, scooping up other cars and just going underneath them. I find that very entertaining, to, my, to, to be honest. Oh, 
Oh my god. I don't know what just happened behind me. Hello, sport track, by the way. I am in second place. Which is kind of surprising. Oh, jeez. Hello, goodbye. Thought I could just yoink my way to second place there, but I was wrong. Go. With your boost. Pass the F-150. Pass. No, you bitch. Whatever. Again, I literally was 20 points ahead, so couldn't have lost. And there we go. There's that. Well done. You Size matters first. has been finitoed. All right. Car oh. collected. I apologize for yawning so much, but holy shit. We got the F-350 unlocked. Collected. We got the best off-road vehicle unlocked, apparently. Alright, so all I have left is the GT World, which will be done in the next episode. So thank you all very much for watching this one, and I will see you when I see ya.